For this tutorial we're going to make kind of a textured geometric effect and what we're going to do is make kind of these uh, these ruby looking circle pattern on top of a, a dark textured background and it, it works for a good like wallpaper or something so um, feel free to use it wherever. Uh, the first step is to go ahead and let's choose a darker gray uh, almost black for your background. So I have a uh, pretty dark gray chosen here and I'm going to go ahead and fill that background with it by pressing control delete on PC and then what you want to do is find a good texture so I've gone to the site lost and taken which uh, is an awesome site you should go check it out and found this kind of concrete texture so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over to um, my canvas here and my canvas is set up at 1400 by about 900 pixels and you can do this on any size canvas it doesn't really matter so um, go ahead and let's size this down to fit the canvas better um, and I'm gonna change this to kind of a landscape setup like so and for any of these images I use or whatnot I'll leave uh, links in the description as well as the final um, artwork and PSD file for you to, to take a look at so the next thing you want to do to this texture is go ahead and go to image adjustments and desaturate and set that layer to overlay and this is going to give the textured effect um, from basically from underneath coming up through our circles to give them a little bit of life um, so let's save that out <clears throat> then we want to make a new layer and see how, how I have guides um, uh, pulled out here to the, to the dead center of the canvas we're going to be building our, our circle pattern based off of this so we need this initially to set up our, our uh, um, circular shapes also you probably want to go to view and turn snapping on um, we're going to rely on that as well <clears throat> so go ahead and choose a elliptical marquee tool and for the background color let's choose a kind of ruby um, with a little bit of pink thrown into it I probably should figure out what the correct term is or the name is for this type of color but it's not red and it's not purple <laughs> so something like that and you can use orange or blue or anything you want to but um, probably start with a pretty heavily uh, saturated color so if you come out dead center here to the guides and hold alt and shift on PC you can drag out a perfect circle from the center and let's go ahead and do about I don't know about that size and I'm control delete again to fill and let's go ahead and make a few copies of this circle uh, just so we can work off of them later so I've got a couple more layers um, created so the first circle we know we're gonna need uh, two halves of the circle so I'm just gonna select half and since I have snapping on my um, selection tool will snap directly to the the center guide there so control X control V to cut and paste this and see if I hide guides real quick we just we have a complete circle but it's you know it's two halves so go ahead and drag those layers off to a, cor a corner we'll come back to those the next circle here um, go ahead and drag this one out until until its edge is on the center axis here so holding shift on your keyboard just grab and drag until that you know that left side is is snapped on to the the canvas here or to the guide and then if you select that and then turn on your uh, another layer of your circle and then go to that layer control C control V to copy and paste we have this piece that's left and with this you can um, you know uh, take a copy of it and go to edit transform rotate 90 degrees and if you have snapping on they seem to kind of snap together but see how we have another we can get shapes like this you know we can use it by itself um, in places or whatnot and just have a, a bunch of different circular shapes to work with so the next thing to do is to kind of start laying these out um, just you know use your eyeballs and, and and figure out some good patterns for this um, let's go ahead and start with just one of the full circles in the middle and I'm going to show you how to do the um, kind of the effect that's going to help give it depth so if you turn if you create a copy of, of that circle 
and this bottom copy let's turn it to overlay and then if you turn the top copy on you know how we have it covered but then go to your um, your uh, eraser tool and grab a soft brush probably for this case around 200 or let's do 300 and then we just kind of want to um, delete you know erase sections of it help if I turned help if I did the right one though um, and then you'll see the overlaid one coming through the bottom so we're kinda using you know a regular normal filled uh, layer as you know in this case we're setting it as a highlight so if you grab both of those and just you know you can kinda drag them wherever then we can start building our shape patterns and start pulling them onto each other so say I you know you could do something like this uh, set that one to overlay again um, create a new layer on top of that that's set to normal and then you can start um, you know doing something like this and you start getting these um, nice geometric shapes going so you can just kinda keep on going and make sure you you keep creating copies of, of your shapes so you don't run out because um, you will at one point unless you're using masks you will at one point uh, end up with a bunch of half deleted shapes that you can't use so I'm gonna keep building this for you know using this technique and keep uh, building this across the page and then I'll be back in for you just a second with a, a greater piece already done showing you this technique so now we have you know a whole bunch of these circle shapes laid out and overlaid and and uh, overlapping each other and now that I'm looking at the final piece I'm gonna shrink these down probably 65 percent of their their regular size and something like that you know makes a cool effect um, another thing you can do is just grab all these layers once you're done and copy them and then in this case let's go edit transform rotate 180 degrees um, and it's really easy to start you know getting more shapes going and uh, really building up your your background here so say we get this final you know this final area in and then you end up with something like this and it's you know it's a subtle texture it's got that geometric um, almost kind of retro feel uh, but it's kind of cool um, to go one step further in this um, another thing I like to do is do kind of like a uh, like a vignette of sorts so I'll copy this um, actually I'll copy our background <clears throat> and I will bring that all the way up to the top we have a ton of layers now I should probably put these in a, a folder um, but way at the top and then you know turn your guides back on uh, elliptical marquee tool again and we're just gonna kinda create a uh, vignette of sorts so something like that and then select modify feather and let's do 60 pixels and then you can just simply hit delete you know we get some sort of effect like that um, another slight thing that you can do to help give it depth is do some you know some more uh, diagonal lines so create a new layer and for this let's just use the uh, polygon lasso tool and while holding shift you can get like a 45 degree angle selection something like this we want to select uh, you know we want a big chunk of space here then grab your brush tool and select the foreground color to white and let's set this to like a hundred or two hundred pixels and then just kinda uh, do like an edge something like this so you're just giving it a hint of um, kind of action almost so you can grab that layer and then you know kinda place it find some good uh, overlapping kinda points and just kinda place it there uh, you can make you know additional copies of this and just kinda move it around but it helps kinda break up the shapes a little bit and and pull up the uh, you know um, the, the the depth a tad um, so maybe something like that 
if you just catch the edges it, it works out pretty cool and there you go it's uh it's a pretty you know simple it, it's really it, it takes maybe I don't know maybe 10 15 minutes to do something like this um, and it makes you know a nice backdrop for a, a greater piece of art so you could you could easily you know use this as just a background to uh, another art piece that you'd want to do on top of this and layer it up um, you can use it without textures you know and just get something much cleaner like this um, you could use lighting effects and whatnot and get something kind of cool so it, it's kind of a whole open ball game it's just a, a way of, of you know cutting apart a circle shape to start with and just overlapping pieces of itself on top of each other to get kind of this this depth and feel so I hope this brought you know some sort of help to you it might be something you can use down the road and I'll keep making these tutorials as uh, I come up with ideas alright thanks guys